I met Sam at the youth shelter where I was volunteering, actually the same shelter where I spent a couple of months when I was 15. So I had been volunteering for about nine months doing my little craft workshop and there were always girls who stood out, you know, I mean, they told us not to play favorites and I didn't, I, I tried not to, but um, there were always girls that you were just drawn to and uh, that was Sam. Do I need to put this out? I can keep this. Keep All right. Sam was exceptional. She was brilliant, no doubt about it. But she was in bad shape. I've been in social work 20 years. She had one of the worst stories I ever heard. Sam was one of 40 girls on the older females unit alone, not to mention all the other floors. You know how many kids we have at this shelter? And she took up the most time and energy of everyone. Everybody all wrapped up in Sam. And I told Janice, I told her, I said, I know you mean well, I know you want to help this girl, but she's too damaged. You're in over your head. Well, first she was in the hospital. Um, she was hospitalized for a serious infection. So I started visiting her there. Then she was in a psych ward and then she went to rehab, talking with her every night on the phone, went to go see her for family day. When Sam became my patient, I just felt like, this girl has been brought into my life for a reason. I mean, she was so bright and she was so loving despite everything she'd been through. She's just an amazing, amazing person. And um... so after rehab, she was in a halfway house and her health was still really bad. Um, she kept getting hospitalized for uh, serious infections, meningitis, and then we found out she'd been diagnosed with AIDS. Bill and I were trying to go on our honeymoon and she has less than 50 T cells left. You know, she's going blind. While all of her symptoms were consistent with late stage AIDS, the problem was she was HIV negative. So frankly, we didn't know what we were dealing with here. And that's when I realized Sam wasn't who she said she was. I'd spent a year of my life with this girl and I didn't know her at all.